Okay, if you are like me and the industry is getting kind of weird right now, you may want to consider, you know, upgrading your rifle. And one of the biggest upgrades that you can do is adding a rifle light. So the biggest problem in the world of firearms and rifle lights in particular are, to be perfectly honest, is everything is a little bit, I would say, kind of overpriced for rifle lights. There are some lights out there like the Cloud Defensive that actually make a phenomenal light, but it is the gold standard and they charge gold standard pricing. They're actually still a phenomenal light. I can still highly recommend them. That's what the boss here has on his rifle. That being said, there are some lights that are overpriced for no reason, in my opinion, um, Surefire being one of them. Still a good light. They're just kind of behind the times in terms of accessories that come with the light, the output of the light, that being the Candela. I know the new Turbo Series um, kind of changed that, but to be perfectly honest, they're kind of overpriced for what they are. Um, the Surefire name, they're kind of just riding off the name, unfortunately. Which brings me to um, kind of what we're talking about today, which is the six hour MSR light. Um, we actually, these are actually fairly new to the market and we picked them up, checked them out, and we're actually very impressed by what these lights can do and what they offer. So in terms of what you're getting in the package when you do get this light is, dig this out real quick. So you get the light itself, which is actually a very solid construction on here. It does, which I think is phenomenal that it did this, have the cap, uh, the end cap with a clicky cap and a plug for your pressure pad, which I think is phenomenal that it comes with it. Unlike the Surefire ones where you have to buy the aftermarket cap, uh, tail cap, which ain't cheap, these just come with it, <clears throat> which is phenomenal. And these things haven't put them through their absolute paces yet. I haven't gotten the chance to absolutely beat the crap out of one. so. I'll uh, have to update you once I attempt to break it. Again, just based off construction, I don't know if I can, but I'll try. And then it also comes with two spare batteries. Again, they kind of give you extras out of the box. And then it does come with, let me pop them out for you real quick. It does come with two mounts for this light. So it takes a standard scout mount, so you can use any of your standard Arasaka cloud defense mounts that you already have or it comes with two different mounts in the box ready to go. One being a M-lock mount where it's just kind of straight up M-lock mount. It'll fit most things um, to include like your MCXs with the thicker hand guards. And it does have an offset Picatinny mount. So you can just hang that thing off the side of your rail and run it like that. So they give you mounting options, which is awesome straight out of the box. Again, both M-lock and Picatinny. Bunch of companies nowadays aren't even doing that. For much higher price lights and then it does come with a little wire management piece again not super fancy but it's neat that they throw it in there and i'm my opinions on sig are fairly well known on their products so again this kind of came out of nowhere and surprised me um and then they do also come with and this is another very exciting part right here Let me dig this out real quick um the pressure pad that it comes with is actually very similar to the mod button if you've used one of those or if you came in and see my rifle i use the mod button on mine um, very similar to the mod button which is actually impressive um, and very nice button very tactile um, does take a surefire i forget what these are called the crane plug or surefire plug um, the same plug that they use on surefire lights or your mod lights or anything like that so this will take that so if you already have a Surefire light and you don't want to use the plug on this, you can use the, the pressure pad on that light as well, So, which is pretty rad. And then also these two batteries, they are actually rechargeable 18650s, and it does come with your charging cable. I so. have forgotten to mention that the output on this light is 1350 lumens with 33,000 candela. So not the highest uh, lumen or candela out there, but still incredibly usable. Still get a very nice noticeable hotspot, actually. Do toss a bitch in. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. So yeah, so 1350 on the lumens and 33,000 Cadella. It is incredibly bright. So just for reference, very nice hot spot on the wall there. So that's your Cadella. And then your lumens is just the raw output of the light. 
overall a pretty complete package is kind of an all-in-one package and it goes for i would say almost half the price of other competitors in the market when you take into account all the accessories it comes with and sometimes it's less than half of you taking into consideration all the accessories it comes with which is insane um, so it's kind of a one and done type of rifle light that you can just buy slap on your rifle and you're good to go and never have to worry about it again so i'm matt from scorpius tactical thanks for watching and uh, come check out the sig foxtrot msr rifle light